Universal, when Marlon Brando made One-Eyed Jacks, he lost all his money. He's broke. Universal steps in, bails his company out, but he's got to do some pictures for them. And he makes some really pretty bad movies over there. One of which was The Appaloosa, starring John Saxon and Anjanette Comer. And uh, at the very end of the film, uh, John Saxon is pursuing him and they're going to have a shootout at the end. Of, that's the end of the picture. Unfortunately, at that time, Marlon Brando was being difficult and the, shut, the production shut down. So the guy who was doing the movie was his first movie because he'd been head of television at Universal. He calls Kibbe up. Kibbe had two great loves, medicine and flying. He was a flight instructor during World War II and a professional hypochondriac, which somehow worked very well for him. So uh, he gets on a plane and he flies out to Kanab, Utah. They have a tent city where they're going to be filming this. And uh, the producer, you got to help me. You know, Brando won't do anything. He just hates the script. And then, so he gets together with Brando. And because Kibbe was lovable, if anything, um, he and Brando get along. And they start rewriting the script. They get the thing finished. He goes back to Los Angeles. He gets another call down late at night from the producer. He says, Kibbe, you got to help me. Brando's gone crazy. And he says, what, what is it? He said, well, we're supposed to be up in the high Sierras to shoot the finish of the picture. And he's, he's going to kill me. I mean, he's going to ruin the picture. You've got, it's two in the morning, so you've got to come out here. So he said, OK, relax. So Kibby puts on his bathrobe and gets in his car. He drives out to Brando's bungalow. Brando's taking a shower or something. And he says to the producer, well, what's the problem? He says, he, he doesn't want to get on the plane tomorrow to go up north. And everybody's waiting. It's our last day of shooting. And he won't go. And Kibby said, oh, Brando comes out. He's got a towel and a yellow sheet of paper with notes on it. And he said, now listen, Kib, it's good that you're here because I can't talk to suits. I mean, you're a creative person. He said, you know, there's a place in Mexico. I'm not sure where it is exactly. I know they can find it. And it's got these rolling sand dunes. And I think we should shoot the fin to the finish down there. Everybody, of course, is up in the Sierras waiting for him in the morning. So Kibby said, uh, yeah, well, what happens? He said, well, what happens is I'm on my horse. My horse dies. And I eviscerate the horse. I bury the entrails in the sand. Then I climb inside the horse. Before he does this, he said, I, I walk up to the top of the next sand dune. And I walk back in my own footprints. I climb inside the horse. I pull the carcass tight. When John Saxon shows up, I come out of the horse and I shoot him in the back. This is our hero. And Kibbe says, I think that's a great idea. And his friend thinks he's been betrayed. And Brando said, well, of course, I knew if I talked to you, you're a writer, you know. And uh, Kibbe said, well, could you make one small change for me? And he said, well, Kib, you're the writer. What is it? When you go to come out of the horse and shoot John Saxon in the back, could you come out of the asshole of the horse? Kibbe and Brando took his thing through. He said, OK, let's go and finish the picture.